Hello guys, no doubt you've heard by now about the awesome, awful atrocities that have happened in America. But as a um, a free thinker, as a uh, you know a person that's against war and death and destruction, I'm going to balance the two out. This happened yesterday. This was reported yesterday. Unfortunately, I'm 24 hours behind because the gentleman that makes these videos, obviously. He's in America. It's it's a little coincidental that obviously what happened in America happened in America, but this happened yesterday. So if I can figure out how to turn the camera around, which I can't, so I'll have to do it the other way. He's inside Syria this weekend. Uh, I'm seeing reports here of 83 regime forces dead, 120 others at least injured. Give us the details, the specifics on that. What do we know? Hi, Poppy. Yeah, there was a statement by the uh, Syrian military, which was uh, brought out, I would say, about maybe 45 minutes to an hour ago, where they accused uh, what they say is the U.S.-led coalition of bombing Syrian army positions uh, near the town of Derizor, or in the town of Derizor. Uh, now, you have to keep in mind that Derizor is a city that's surrounded by ISIS and actually held mostly by ISIS, where the regime only has uh, a few areas and also the airport. And the Syrian military says that because of those airstrikes that took place, that ISIS was actually able to advance in those areas. So they're directly blaming the U.S.-led coalition for helping ISIS advance. Now, the U.S. itself has put out a statement as well saying that there was an airstrike today on position near Derizor, where they say they were trying to hit um, a Syria, uh, ISIS uh, armored vehicles. They don't dispute that they may have accidentally hit the Syrian military. Um, at this point, though, it's really unclear uh, what exactly happened there and uh, and who exactly is responsible for that airstrike. So, now, the Russians themselves, they've also come forward. They also say that they believe that this was U.S. planes that by accident uh, struck these uh, Syrian military positions. They blame the U.S. for what they call a lack of coordination. But America said that it did actually inform the Russians that it was going to conduct airstrikes around the Deir and Zor area. So certainly this is something probably that's not going to help and the ceasefire in any way, shape, or form, and it's certainly causing a lot of anger here among the Syrians. Well, obviously, it said at the end of that, obviously, maybe it'll infuriate a few Syrians, uh, or quite a few Syrians, um, but obviously what happened in America happened yesterday evening, I believe, into the early hours of the morning, so obviously it would be reported on British television today. But that happened yesterday. Uh, this was reported at... I believe for something uh, if you give me two seconds it was reported uh, 1 25 p.m. PT whatever that means but it's in America uh, so as usual guys do with the information as you will and as usual peace and love